Hi everyone and welcome back to today's morning report with me Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hantech Markets for Monday the 19th of May. I'm going to move quickly on to Eurodollar now and Eurodollar has actually found a little bit of support in the last couple of days um, following on from that sharp decline that we saw following on uh, from the ECB press conference uh, a couple of Thursdays ago but certainly in the last couple of days we've seen a bit of support coming in and, and uh, whether this ultimately proves to be a low uh, remains to be seen but certainly this is happening once more around this 144 day moving average which seems to be a very good basis of support for these lows so that is something that uh, we need to bear in mind but I still think that uh, the downside pressure remains on for the euro um, having broken that uh, that uptrend that had been in place since uh, I think it was July let's just check that Yes, July. Uh, so that that with that uptrend broken, that now certainly puts pressure, I think, on this uh, on the euro going forward. And certainly, um, rallies are being sold into. You've got this big base of support, sorry, basis of resistance around 37.80 that uh, has been holding it back. 37.75 was the low there, and you'll see in a minute that that actually coincides with on the intraday chart uh, a. Ba a, a a, uh, at the top of uh, a recovery of the early last week, 37.75 coming in there around that old low. So that is an interesting and certainly strong resistance now. We've seen this uh, this process going on here where you could even argue if you break above 37.32 then uh, that may well now complete a, uh, a small base pattern but I still think that this 37.75 mark is the big level that it would need to get above if there was to be any sort of recovery and what you've seen also is already on this intraday chart the, um, the momentum indicators uh, coming up and um, improving already um, and uh, to a level at which the sellers have returned and you've not yet seen that breakout so that leaves me a little bit uh, concerned um, and I think that perhaps this uh, 3733 area is um, would be a, a decent area to sell um, because I think that you're going to see further downside pressure on the euro uh, and uh, a likely retest of that uh, that low at 36.47 in due course, uh, which on the daily chart is that uh, that key low from uh, the middle of last week, and um, probably would then reopen all these all these lows here 35.61 and 34.75. So ultimately, that that would then complete um, a big double top pattern as well. So a series of bearish indicators that would happen. Um, if that, uh, if we were to get a reclaim, uh, sorry, a failure of that 36.47 mark, but that's for later on. I think nearer term. I think we're, we're still debate. Uh, the euro is still debating whether we're going to get um, a basing out of this uh, intraday possible base pattern. But I still, as I said earlier, 37.75 is a big resistance ceiling area. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading on Euro today. Uh, as I said, not a great deal of data out today, so traders are being left to their own devices. But um, in any case, I will speak to you later. Thank you.